I have been trying for a couple of weeks to get this little water bath grinder working. As you can see, it is a, a stone wheel grinder and it's got a kind of pulley system. And these are typically set up with a motor. So you'll have like a little motor back here, run into a cog, which then turns the grinding wheel, fill that with water and you're all set for your sharpening. Uh, but I don't have a motor. So uh, the first thing I did is uh, with my friend Steve, uh, we built a foot treadle system. And man, that foot trail system, uh, it took a while to a couple versions and it just never worked. This stone never had enough momentum. For a while, I thought maybe I would use this as a flywheel just cause it's got a bit more weight to it, but I didn't rig that up. I went to Harbor Freight, which for me almost never works out. And I bought this little motor, a little grinder. You can run it between zero and a thousand RPMs. I modified this to run on these belts and it just didn't have enough oomph to get this guy turning. You know, I could sort of get it going by hand, but it just wouldn't finally turn. All right, now what am I doing next? Uh, check this out. In my garage, I have uh, up here on the ceiling, I'll show you over here. I've got a really old garage door opener. Uh, and I have never even run this thing. It's, it's probably from like the 50s or the 70s or something. I'm gonna take this guy down and see if I can't harvest the motor out of it and use it on my grinding wheel. I don't know which way is on and which way is off. There's actually just a regular switch right here and then this toggles it on and off and that would be the automatic shut off uh, when the garage door hit its proper distance. And I'm just gonna plug it in and see what happens. Nothing, okay, that could be good. Uh, I'll flip this switch. And it's running and it runs pretty steady until you flip it off. Okay, sweet. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is cut this guy off and try to get this motor working on the grinding wheel. We'll put some water in it and you can see that it still has one minor problem. It just totally spits all the water out. Stone's moving too fast. So next step is to try to down gear the, the wheel. So instead of having this direct relationship with a small cog to the big one, I'm gonna go small, big, small, big, and see if I can get that wheel to move slower. All right, so now this baby is what I would call kind of down geared uh, twice. You got this small cog going to a big cog, so with a lot of rotations here, you get fewer here. And then uh, there's a shaft that runs through here and that goes to a small cog, which then goes to another big cog. So that should da double down gear it. I'm gonna pour water in there and see what happens. The motor's just bouncing a little more than it was before but I've got a slow moving stone and I'm gonna see if I can sharpen this up. It's not in totally bad shape, but it's kind of nasty. It's got some mix out of there and it is definitely dull. It's 
very nice. So that's just one quick pass on the whetstone. And I, I kind of wish it was moving a little bit faster, but it's looking pretty good. So that's it for bringing this old whetstone back to life. I think I've got it about as good as I'm going to get it. It's not moving quite as fast as I want it to, but it's keeping the water in the trough, so that's good. I also don't know how long this motor is going to last. This old boy has been uh, stuck to my garage ceiling for a long time, and it started to smoke there after just three or four minutes, so we'll see how long it lasts. The next whetstone uh, sharpener I want to make is uh, using this old wheel here. Um, and I'm gonna have to build a frame for it and a water bath and a foot treadle system. You know, that uh, water bath whetstone worked out okay, but it's not perfect. I do feel like a lot of DIY videos and how-to videos on YouTube kind of make things look awesome, and that didn't end up being awesome at all. You know, the foot treadle wasn't the best, the first motor failed, the second motor isn't even the best either, but it was a good process and I look forward to seeing if I can get this baby going. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the whetstone, hit me with a thumbs up if the video was at all helpful, and I would love to hear suggestions about the project. Uh, subscribe to the channel, of course, if you're interested in more stuff of the kind.